What's up, everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna check out Star Wars Outlaws on the main PC, or the TV PC here. We already did the main PC. TV PC, I have too many PCs. And I'm about to build another one. I have a problem. <laughs> anyway, so we're basically gonna just try it out. 4K, just like we did on the main PC. Only difference is this is an older 5800X3D and a slightly less powerful 4090. But we're talking like 100 hertz, megahertz here. That's probably only worth an FPS or two at best. I think the RAM is even at 1,000 on both of them. So they're both equal there. So now, I guess let's hop into the game and we'll go see how it does. All right, here's what we're gonna start with, just 4K with uh, no, F no DLSS, no frame gen, none of that. And we're gonna start on Ultra, just like we did on the main PC, just see how this one stacks up. If I remember correctly, it's usually like two to four FPS slower than this guy, but that's not really that big of a deal. Anyway though, let's get into the game and see how it does. Here we are in the game, native 4K. Ultra settings, and let's just run around a little bit and see how it does. Now my main PC dropped down to like 50 or something like that, 50, 51 at some point. I think this one drops down to 48 at some point. But let's wait and see. I did so many today, maybe I'm getting them all confused. All of them are pretty damn buttery smooth in the frame time department too. And that's always nice. Looks like we got no sound again, though. That sucks. I don't know why it stopped recording sound for me, but that's really annoying. I mean, it still helps me show people the frame rate of the game, but a lot of people want to hear the sound, too, and not just listen to me yak. And I feel like when there's no sound, I almost should talk more just to make it a little more entertaining. Otherwise, it's just silence and watching... A character running around in a frame rate monitor. <laughs> wow, a lot of fucking rats in this fucking alley, jeez. Drop down to 49. All right, though. Let's move along. Now let's try it on high. Which is probably the way I would play. Although, I don't know. Maybe I'd play with DLSS. I don't think I'd turn frame gen on, though. Most of the time, I don't use that unless I absolutely have to. To just smooth it out. Like, if I'm real close to 60... I'll turn it on usually just to make it basically feel like a constant 60. But anyway, let's go see how this does. Now here we go on just high. Let's run around for a little bit just to see what kind of frame times we get and frame rates. I really wished I could get the freaking average and minimum to work properly. Yeah, so far so good. Seems to be pretty buttery smooth and staying above 60. The CPU is pretty chilly at like 50, 51 degrees. Using like 50 to 55 watts, not bad. Even dropping down to the 40s. Or the wattage department, not bad. Although I do have this thing undervolted and as well as a curve optimizer, so. 
Now let us move along. Now we're gonna try some DLSS out, so I put it back to Ultra, and we're gonna do quality, and then after that, we'll do some frame gen. And I think I recorded the frame gen part this time. I must have just somehow forgot to hit record and thought I did on the main computer. I thought it fucked up and just didn't want to record frame gen stuff. So now let's go ahead and get ourselves back into the game. Well, now here we go with some DLSS, quality, ultra, settings. Oh, yeah, let's go and see how it does. Definitely get a nice little boost in FPS, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely doesn't look any worse. But yeah, it's kind of funny. It's, it's pretty damn smooth. I mean, they all had about the equal amount of one and two frame stutters every once in a blue moon. But a lot of people were, I've seen a lot of people, not literally directed on me on my channel, but I've just seen kind of cruising through comments on YouTube. A lot of people think AMD just always just stutters no matter what, and it's just garbage, and it's just awful. And I'm just sitting here like, dude, I got both. And sometimes one's smooth, and sometimes the other one's smooth. I've never really had a computer that's just like, nope, I do it all. I'm flawless in every way. I can play every game with no stutter and blah, blah, blah. No, it never happened. Be great if it happened, but so far, no. And then sometimes you just get a game that runs like shit, no matter what PC you have, no matter what team you got. <laughs> Although, the one thing that's nice about that is if the game's that bad, at least on PC, it's still pretty okay versus on console being like 720p and this, that, and the other thing just to hit target frame rates. And I don't know. I don't like that. A lot of people just don't care. They're just like, hey, I want to put a disc in my shit or download, hit play, and go. Nothing wrong with that at all. Anyway, though, I think that's probably about good. Why don't we move on to a little frame gen now? Now, here's frame gen settings. We got frame gen on. Still using DLSS on quality. So here's the rest of the graphic settings here. Let's go up and check the advanced graphics real quick. Still have it on the ultra preset. I mean, there's a couple settings you could go up higher, of course, but I just did the ultra preset since I'm doing so many systems. Anyway, though, that's the end. So let's go and hop into the game. Well, now here we go with some frame gen. So let's just run around a little bit and see how what's what. So far, so good, though. Seems to be still pretty smooth, although I will say it seems to be adding a tiny little stutter every once in a while. Though, I think the same thing was happening on the main PC. See, like, little things like that. Like, I mean, it's not like the end of the world, but I just don't think I was seeing that as much on the secondary PC, but again, that one also wasn't trying to do 4K either. That was only ultra-wide, which is just still 1440p. As big as that monitor is, it's still just 1440. Sucks for test text and stuff, but I didn't get it to sit there and read a bunch of text. And in-game text still looks great. That's all I care about. I got that thing for gaming, and it does great at that. I had a couple people be like, oh my god, good job, genius. You got a 45-inch 1440p monitor. And I was like, yeah, that's because I wanted it to be that way. Because at least the frame rate's pretty decent. Because if that was like a ultra wide 4K panel, for example, it would get even worse FPS than I'm getting on my 4090 systems. Because that CPU or that GPU is not as powerful as a 4090. I think there's a couple games that it beat the 4090 at 4K originally. I think that might have changed by now, but I think uh, Warzone was one of them. But that does not happen very often. But I remember that happening with, like, Forza and stuff way back, too. And everyone was like, oh, what the fuck? How is shit beating a 3090? There's no way. And it's like, yeah, well, I guess in that particular game. But 
who cares? And that's all you're going to do is play that one game. You should never base your purchasing decision off of one specific game unless that's all you're going to play. Me, I play way too many games. I usually play one, even if it's an addicting game like Wukong or Wukong. I'm fucking like playing it, and I've been playing a little bit more once I beat it, but I think I'm about ready to move on to the next game. But Wukong was really fucking fun, though. I had a blast with it. Great game. Anyway, let's move on to camera. Let us now get some camera recorded gameplay here. Everything's still on like frame gen and stuff. And the honest has quality and the game's on ultra. Not maxed out, but just preset ultra. That looks nice, oh, Onyx. Good job, buddy. Money, money, money! Money! Oh, more stuff. Depleted. It's all depleted. Hey! I need to give you something. No. shakedowns tonight. Bullies will be loaded with credits. are out for the Some Kanto Cup. Stop coming out, so I'll have to turn them off and off real quick. It's not very common now. Nope, I already told you. Nah, buy them what you're selling. Sounds like that Asian lady, that old Asian lady from Cyberpunk. I can't remember her name now, damn it. I thought I had it, and I was like, no, I don't think that's right. I'm terrible with name, remembering names for people in games. I can do it like a little bit while I'm playing the game, but as soon as I stop playing the game for a bit, it's like, nope, all that shit goes right out the window.
So let's go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Star Wars Outlaws. And it seemed to run pretty damn equal to the secondary and main computer. So that's pretty nice. I think when we didn't have anything helping it, I think it dropped like two or three FPS lower in some spot than the main computer. And that's not bad at all, considering this is a much older, well, not much older. I think it's one gen older, but it doesn't have lots of single core or anything helping. It's just Vcash helping it and the fact that we're at 4K. And when you're at 4K, as long as you have a reasonably new processor, you should be pretty golden. You might be moving and missing out on a couple frames here and there, but as long as you can play the game like that, I don't think most people give a shit. I mean, most people don't even run a frame rate counter, so you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between the three. If you gave it to a person who's just a gamer, they are just blind test, they'd probably not be able to differentiate the three from each other. But in any case, that is all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.